Farming is one of many skills in Hypixel Skyblock. Many players use farming as a great way to make loads of money, and in this video I'm going to be doing my best to max out my farming fortune, which should give me even more money. Without further ado, make sure to like and subscribe, and let's get right into it. Alright guys, what's up? So as you guys can see, I've already been farming for a little. I am at the moment in full fermento armor, and I have rancher's boots, but the main goal of this video is going to be to max out our farming fortune, and as you guys can see, the first thing that I'm going to need to do is get full mossy on my armor and a full rooted lotus set. So I think this rooted lotus set will probably be what we do first, and alongside the armor, and I was also going to upgrade my nether wart hoe to a tier 3, which is going to need a lot of mutant nether wart. But I am on an Iron Man profile, so I think what we can do is go ahead and probably get a couple of visitors done. We have Jamie, who wants melons. This guy, who also wants melons. Cocoa beans. And hay bales. So I can do the cocoa beans right now, and we'll do melons later. But I will need to go ahead and get 500 copper so we can go buy the lotus cloak. And then I'll go ahead and farm mushrooms until we have the ancient spores. Anyways, I'll let you guys know if anything interesting happens, and yeah, hopefully we end up dropping some good stuff. Hey guys, I am back from doing a couple of visitor quests, and now that I am back, there is a nether wart contest starting in 9 seconds, so I'm gonna go ahead and empty our pest bag, which is gonna give us 130 farming fortune, and let's go ahead, set our boots to 90 speed, and yeah, let's get farming. Alright guys, well the contest just wrapped up for Nether War, and we actually ended up getting silver in it, so that is pretty good. I'm gonna go over here and I'll show you guys at Jacob, and we're actually not that far off of gold, so if we go here, as you guys can see, gold is top 10%, we're like top 18%, so I think gold is very doable, but let's go ahead and claim this, we get Turbo Warts 1 and 15 Jacob's tickets, and alongside that, how much, how many medals do we have at Anita? Um, metal trades. I don't know if it'll show us, but anyways, we do have some new visitors, so let's check if they have anything good. So, Lynn, I'm gonna decline that, because that's not a good deal. I'll keep you. And Sirius, by the way, guys, this is gonna give us 334 copper, which is going to be enough to completely get the last uh, lotus gear that we need, because the last lotus gear, if we check right here is the lotus cloak which is going to be 500 copper i already have 200 so i'm gonna go ahead work on completing sirius's offer and yeah hopefully we can end up getting that relatively soon and yeah one hour later all right guys i am back and if we go to my inventory i have 18 enchanted golden carrots here so let's go talk to sirius give him this and there we go okay I wonder, okay, will Tia the Fairy have any cool drops? Okay, no, but for Enchanted Sugarcane, I'll probably do that offer la uh, later. But we have 545 copper, guys, so we can go ahead, not crop upgrades, but Sky Mart. And let's go ahead and buy ourselves the Lotus Cloak. And now, guys, finally, we have a full empty hand slot. Oh, okay. But we have a full set of lotus gear and as you guys can see i have rooted on these two but i want to go ahead and get rooted on the lotus necklace and cloak as well and if you guys don't know rooted is a reforge that you can get by farming mushrooms now you can do this from any single mushroom and as long as you are farming them it'll have like a one in i think like two hundred fifty thousand chance or something like that but i think it is affected by your farming fortune and at the moment, I have, let's see, in tab, 790 without pest boost. So, 
assuming i can get over 800 this should go by pretty fast i was able to get the other two in about like two hours so max maybe like five hours i really hope i don't jinx it but anyways i'll go ahead and get farming with mushrooms and hopefully we're able to drop those two relatively fast anyways i'll see you guys once we have them oh my god bro oh, hell no hey guys i am back and i might have underestimated how long these mushrooms would actually take to go ahead and get i have gotten like i have farmed a lot of mushrooms and i've still not managed to get a burrowing spores so i think we're gonna give up on the burrowing spores but while i was doing a ton of visitor quests because that's what i've been doing like this entire time i managed to get two flowering bouquets and I think what I'm going to do with these is for now, instead of having rooted on these two equipment pieces, I'm going to go ahead and put flowering on them until we can get the burrowing spores. Because I feel like for today's video, burrowing spores are going to take a little bit too long. So I'm going to go ahead and put blooming on both of these. That's going to get us six extra farming fortune, which is not a ton, but it is what it is. And I think the last, like easy to get money increase is going to be switching from nether wart to melon so i've asked everyone in my guild and everyone that i've talked to has said that melon is actually better for money than nether wart and we can go ahead over here and claim a couple of jacob's tickets as well yeah turbo mushroom got those both from mushroom contests and i think here's an extra ticket we can claim and if we combine those with the tickets that I have on my island over here, 61 tickets, I'll go ahead, warp to the garden, that way we can buy everything we need for this to buy a melon dicer. This should work. There we go, guys. We have a melon dicer. So that is a completely clean melon dicer. What I want to go ahead and do with this is go ahead and buy from Skymart Enchantments and farm melons. So yeah earthy melon dicer with 70 farming fortune and of course we get the little bonus for the rng with melons so let's go ahead go to the garden and i'm not sure if it'll let me use my enchanted melons because it takes melon seeds let's go ahead and see if we can configure plots to go ahead and replace these sugar ones with melon okay this should work so yeah anyways i'll let this plot paste in it is working okay i'll let this plot paste in guys and i'll go ahead and start farming melon that way we can get even more money and i do have some upgrades that i plan on getting very soon so yeah anyways i'll go start farming let's see if we can also get some burrowing spores as well anyways i'll let you guys know if anything interesting happens I am back and I have something very cool to show you guys. So as you guys can see, we have the melon dicer here, but there is actually upgrades to the melon dicer and the upgrades upgrade the ability as well. So I just learned this from my guild that it actually will majorly increase the amount of like uh, melons that you drop. So now that we have the melon dicer 2.0, let's go ahead and test this out in one of these farms and see how much we can actually get from a single melon rng drop because before from the uncommon drop we were getting two enchanted melons or like two enchanted melon slices so let's see how much we get from one of these three enchanted melons okay so it looks like it's giving us slightly more but guys there is another upgrade to this melon dicer that will cost two stacks of enchanted melons so what i'm gonna go do is i'm gonna go farm out for that uh, melon dicer 3.0 and i'll let you guys know once we have it after that there's a couple more upgrades i want to make in this video and then i think we're good to farm for a while anyways i'll see you guys once we have enough melons i am back and i farmed a full two stacks of enchanted melon blocks this is kind of crazy but if we put in our new melon dicer 2.0 and go put in these blocks they took me about maybe a little bit over an hour or two to farm we can get the earthy melon dicer 3.0 guys so let's go ahead do that oh and we got a carpentry level up and a sky block level up as well okay that's pretty good we are only six levels away from sky block level 160 now but we also got a rarity level up on this so let's go ahead use the ability over here because i am 
very curious as to how much the Rollum ability will actually give us this time. Okay, so four times Enchanted Melon seems to be the uncommon. Maybe we can get something else good as well. Oh, it looks like the pests are already showing up on our plot. I forgot to take off the pests, but that's fine because I'm not really too worried with taking away pests. I mainly want to see how much I could make in one minute. So in one minute, it looks like I made around 47,000 melons, which is about 100k in a single minute. So it's already on par with what we had in Nether Wart. And I believe there's even more upgrades I can make to make melon much better. Because of course, Nether Wart, I had already spent a lot of like investing into Nether Wart. And with melon, I'm like just starting out. I think I can also get a uh, turbo melon on this as well. But I think that's about all the upgrades I'm going to make to my farming setup in this video. If you guys want to see this become a series on the channel, then make sure to like and subscribe as this is a brand new channel. And I would love to hopefully grow it into a very popular channel, maybe even YouTube rank someday. But if you would like to see me improve the Iron Man even more and give you guys some good tips for farming as well, make sure to like and subscribe. As always, this is me, Moogma, signing off. Goodbye.